All right, so we're back at the paper towel here. And we're going to clean off the bars. We're going to dry them up. So you can actually use the paper towel here. Just dry out these bars and get the water off of there. So that's one. Back. And two. There. Nice and clean. This is kind of going to have to clean or just dry on its own. Magnet. So I don't know if I covered this in the last video, but the magnet is actually, see the shiny thing in the middle here? That's the magnet. And these little um, black things here, these little black pieces here that are sticking up, those are the sensors. So that's what tells the uh, fader or tells the mixer to um, close and open and to fade, you know, with that magnet. So as the magnet slides and gets closer to the uh, the sensor there, that's what tells it to turn off. And then when it slides away, that's what tells it to turn on. So that's a pretty cool design there that uh, Rain came up with. But anyway, let's uh, clean off this circuit board here. And like I said, you got to be really, really gentle with this circuit board because you don't want to mess up these sensors. You don't want to bend them. Because if you do bend them, then you're going to have to try to bend them back. And if you do, they're only going to bend so many times before they they break. So don't bend them. So it was a little dirty, not super, super bad, but it was a little dirty. Um, okay, so a little bit of dirt, we'll put that to the side there. So what we're going to do now, these are pretty dry, so we're going to take these here and we're going to put the bars back in, one and two, just like so, so the whole in place like that, and we'll see how dry this is. We don't know. I don't know. So let's see here. Still got a little bit of water in there. So let's see if I can get in between here with a towel and kind of get the blast of the water that's in there. This might be a little harder because of this. So maybe we can use a Q-tip. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So, pretty dry. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to put back the rubber washers. And these rubber washers is what kind of gives the fader a little more bounce. So we're going to put that back on this way and push it down. And then remember, like I said, you always want those to be on this side, the thick side where the stem is uh, on the fader itself. So you're just going to run those bars through just like that. And then take this last rubber washer, put it on, and then you're going to take this little guy here, put it back on. There's two holes on the bottom, so that's where we know where the bottom goes because that screws into the circuit board itself. So now we're going to line those up, push that on, and there we go. So we got it nice and clean now. And you can see that it's sliding pretty good, but you know, we still want it to be a little smoother. So, we will do that here in a couple of seconds. I gotta see where my time is, four minutes, okay. So when you're putting this back on to the circuit board, if you look at this little design here, it actually has the design of the fader itself. So you're just gonna match that up. So you can see this is 
it's supposed to be an outline of this little piece here. So you're just going to match that up there and put it back on so you don't put it on backwards. So you put it on here like so. Once again, be careful with those little sensors there. Then you're going to hold it, match up those holes, and put the screws back on. And just like this. And then we're going to screw these back in. Now we're going to screw them in to where they're tight, but we're not going to over tighten. Uh, the reason for that is because you are just screwing into plastic and you're actually screwing into the circuit board itself as far as tightening down onto. So you don't want to break any of the plastic. So just tighten them enough to where, uh, you know, they're, they're snug. Like I said, you don't have to over tighten it. You don't have to be Hercules and over tighten and break stuff. So now that it's a little tighter, I just realized I did that with my left hand. That's why it was a little awkward. Um, let's see here. We'll just tighten it just enough to where it stops. There, just a nice little turn, turn, turn. Little turn. And little turn. So, there we go. Nice and secure. Okay, so we're back, back together here, back in business. So, the last piece that you want to put on here to uh, get it smooth once again is the old good old-fashioned outers gun oil it's the lube oil uh, in the pump spray you don't want an aerosol but uh, you're gonna use this and once again it's not easy to find anymore you can't really find it at Walmart it used to sell there but they don't sell it there no more so you have to go to their website outers Dot com and you can find it there and once again it's the lube oil so what we're going to do is we're going to take it and what I do is I'll just use the little straw here because it'll be some here on the straw and then I'll just dab it on the the uh, bars so we'll take this and then we'll just run it along the bars just like this so there's one side and two sides you don't have to use a whole lot because um, then that's just an overkill. So there, and there, there, and there, and that's that. So now it'll be nice and smooth when you put it back into the mixer. So now that we got that done, we'll grab the fader knob here and uh, go and put it back in the mixer.